Want to build muscle effectively? It all starts with your nutrition. In this video, we break down how to calculate your daily calorie needs for muscle gain, focusing on key factors and practical tips. Learn the science behind a successful bulk. Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. If you're serious about building muscle, you know that hitting the gym hard is crucial. But what many people overlook or get completely wrong is the fuel they put into their bodies. Today we're talking about the absolute cornerstone of muscle growth, your total daily calorie recommendations for gains. So why are calories so important? Simple. To build muscle, your body needs to be in a caloric surplus. That means you're consuming more calories than you're burning. Think of it like this. Your body needs extra building blocks, energy, to repair and grow new muscle tissue after your workouts. If you're not providing those extra calories, your body won't have the resources to build no matter how hard you train. Our first step is to figure out your TDEE, or total daily energy expenditure. This is the estimated number of calories your body burns in a single day, including your basal metabolic rate, BMR, physical activity, and the thermic effect of food. There are a few ways to do this online. TD calculators. These are super easy to use. Just search TD calculator online. You'll input your age, gender, weight, height, and activity level. Formulas. Briefly mention. More complex formulas like the Mifflin St. Gior or Harris Benedict can be used, but for simplicity, online calculators are your best bet. Remember to be honest about your activity level. Are you sedentary, lightly active, moderately active, very active, or extra active? This significantly impacts your TDEE. Once you have your TDEE, it's time to add the surplus for muscle gain. This is where many people get confused. You don't want to go crazy and add thousands of calories overnight. That's a recipe for excess fat gain, not just muscle. General recommendation. Start with a surplus of 250-500 calories above your TDEE. Why this range? This smaller, more controlled surplus allows for steady muscle growth while minimizing excessive fat accumulation. It's about quality gains, not just gaining weight. For context, 250 calories is roughly a banana and a scoop of protein powder. 500 calories could be an extra small meal or a larger snack. So, if your TDE is 2,500 calories, you'd aim for 2,750 to 3,000 calories per day to start. Now, here's the most important part. This isn't a one-and-done calculation. Your body adapts, and your calorie needs will change. Track your progress. For the first two to four weeks, consistently track your weight and how you feel. Are you gaining roughly 0.51 pound, 0.2 to 0, or thaim hilgyo per week? This is a good indicator of lean muscle gain with minimal fat. If you're gaining much faster, reduce your surplus slightly. If you're not gaining, increase your surplus by another 100,200 calories. Body composition. Pay attention to how your clothes fit and how you look in the mirror. Are you looking leaner or softer? Performance. Is your strength in the gym increasing? Are you recovering well? These are also good signs. Listen to your body. Are you constantly hungry? Are you overly full? Adjust accordingly. Remember, building muscle is a marathon, not a sprint. Be patient, be consistent, and be willing to adjust. While calories are king, the source of those calories matters immensely for muscle gain. We're talking about your macronutrients, protein, carbs, and fats. Protein, absolutely essential for muscle repair and growth. Aim for 0.71 gram of protein per pound of body weight. 1.6 to 2.2 grams per kilogram. Good sources, chicken breast, lean beef, fish, 
eggs, dairy, protein powder, carbohydrates, your primary energy source for intense workouts. Aim for 2-3 grams of carbs per pound of body weight, 4.4 to 6.6 .6 grams per kg, adjusting based on activity. Good sources, whole grains, rice, potatoes, fruits, vegetables. Fats, important for hormone production and overall health. Aim for 0 0.3, 0.5 grams of fat per pound of body weight. 0.711.1 grams per kilo. Good sources, avocados, nuts, seeds, olive oil, fatty fish. Don't just hit your calorie target with junk food. Focus on nutrient-dense whole foods to fuel your body and optimize recovery. Hitting those calorie targets consistently can be a challenge. Here are a few quick tips. Meal prep. Plan your meals in advance to avoid impulsive, less nutritious choices. Liquid calories. Smoothies with protein, fruit, oats, and nut butter are a great way to sneak in extra calories. Healthy fats. Add avocado, nuts, or seeds to your meals for calorie density. Eat frequently. Smaller, more frequent meals can make it easier to consume enough. Track your intake. Use a food tracking app for a few days to get an accurate idea of what you're actually eating. So there you have it. Understanding and consistently hitting your total daily calorie recommendations is a non-negotiable for serious muscle gain. Start by calculating your TDE, add that smart surplus, and most importantly, monitor and adjust as you go. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel for more fitness tips, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss our next video. And let me know in the comments below, what are your biggest struggles when it comes to hitting your calorie goals?